oil exploration. So in Jamaican's waters, the major thing right now is whether or not we can find oil, uh, whether or not there is commercial oil and other hydrocarbons. Earthquakes are important in the context of helping us to find traps for these hydrocarbons. And in the flip side, they also can provide escape for these hydrocarbons. So in the context of Jamaica's oil exploration, now, whether or not it be a case that these frequent earthquakes increase in magnitudes can be beneficial or detrimental is to be studied. However, in the context of what it is that I would have seen through my research, uh, Jamaica's waters, relatively speaking, is underexplored. Uh, the NOAA bathymetry maps highlight that um, in the context of the surveys, it's relatively low. And you can see that with the green lines. Um, what it is that I want to also briefly mention is that in terms of the seafloor shape for Jamaica, the north coast is relatively different than the south coast. So the earthquake that took place on August the 20th, it would have taken place pretty much off the north coast. And what we can see in terms of the seafloor shape is that this more than likely would have been in an area of the seafloor that is sloping down towards a plain. Um, relative to the south coast, we can see where the south coast highlights plateaus, such as the Pedro Bank era, and we can also see some strips of uh, ridges. And these landforms are predominantly controlled by past earthquakes. As past researchers have mentioned, such as Dr. Lyndon Brown, Margaret Wiggins Grandison, Kohler, as well as Dr. Mann, uh, fault characterization, uh, such as slip rate, um, you know, the extent at which the faults exist, which faults are active faults, that in Jamaica's context is understudied. As we are seeing the relative increase in terms of the number slash frequency, as well as the magnitude of earthquakes occurring on Jamaica's mainland, as well as offshore. Uh, what it is that we need to be doing in the context of our oil exploration interest is to ensure that as a country, we are putting forward investment towards, you know, the mapping of earthquakes or rather of fault lines uh, of relative size that are basically within close proximity to, let's just say, oil exploration zones. And, you know, in that context, making sure that we can have that body of knowledge available so that we can see whether or not it is suitable to go forward with the oil exploration slash, um, you know, the whole context of, of, of oil drilling or hydrocarbon drilling. And at the same time, cross that over into having a better understanding about Jamaica's seismic hazards and the extent at which Jamaica can be able to reduce the risk of seismic event within magnitudes moderate and above.